Did you know that in the United States, one out of five kids live in households that struggle to put food on the table? What does that actually mean? Compared to children who are adequately nourished, children who are hungry are sick more often, get more headaches, stomach aches, and colds, and are less likely to learn as fast, as much, or as well. Adults and children who are hungry, who are hungry are more susceptible to obesity, which is linked to diabetes, heart disease, and cancers. Did you know that the pandemic has greatly increased the number of people of, who are facing food insecurity? We have all seen photos on the news of the very long lines at food pantries across the country. Here in Monmouth County, our own Calico Cat Food Pantry served 340 people last February. In September, the pantry served 940 people. That's nearly three times as many people in need. So what can you do? In October, the answer is easy. Support the Crop Walk. Crop Hunger Walks are community-based walk events held in cities and towns across the United States raising funds to support Church World Service. 25% of the funds raised are returned to the host community to support local efforts to fight hunger. Red Bank Crop Walk is the sixth largest of over 800 crop hunger walks in the country. It started in 1981 and has grown to include many communities throughout Monmouth County. Hundreds of people have walked together every October for 39 years to take a stand against hunger in our world. Funds raised support 15 local partner programs, including the Bayshore Lunch Program, Calico Cat Food Pantry, and Family Promise, as well as national and global programs through Church World Service. The goal for this year's Red Bank Crop Walk is for 800 people to walk and to raise $110,000 and to collect 18,000 pounds of peanut butter, rice, beans, and soup. So how can you help? Well, you can walk. Our church has five captains who are planning walks. Three walks will happen today, October 11th. There's a walk at noon led by Christine McNamara and her daughter Rory in Homedale, and there are two walks this afternoon at 3 p.m. starting at Thompson Park. One walk is for the youth and the confirmads and friends led by Val Hansen, and I'll be leading the parents of the youth and any other adults from the church who want to join us, and we'll go in a separate direction. There are also walks on Friday led by Liz Mueller and a walk on Sunday led by Bob Randall. If you cannot walk, please do consider making a donation to the Crop Walk or, and or donate peanut butter, rice, beans, and soup. With your participation, we can end hunger one step at a time. Thank you.